Hi, uh, this is my nine month update. I know there's a, a fair amount of people following out there and um, looking forward to giving you my nine month update. Um, just had my blood test and it's the 0 0.002 something to that effect, uh, which is no detectable PSA. So best result could possibly uh, expect. Um, now an update at nine months as to uh, my uh, incontinence. Uh, that's 99.9% perfect. Um, I will get an occasional leak um, if I'm working, squatting, doing something um, maybe out of the ordinary, um, just not thinking about it and it might happen. So. Um, I'm still wearing uh, the Thin Depend pad for men. Um, I think I'm just about ready to give that up. I'll probably go to the one year mark with that. Um, for a sleeping at night, I've given up the uh, Depend that I was using uh, to go to sleep. So uh, I've had no issues whatsoever. My first three months, I had a few issues. Uh, with uh, waking up and having some leakage three or four times in a nine month period. And that was all within the first three months. So I'm, I'm all set with that. I, I don't worry about that. I still use a pad over my sheet just in case, um, but I don't wear anything anymore. So we're good uh, in, in that department. So f from my perspective, if I had to live with what I'm living with now for the rest of my life, I'm fine. Uh, incontinence is, is really good. Um, sexual function, uh, I still need uh, the sildenafil or Viagra. Um, I started with 60 milligram, 60 milligrams, and um, I'm now down to 20 milligrams. So um, in order to have um, intercourse. So um, I can just use a single tablet uh, the tablets I'm getting are single 20 milligram tablets, which works perfect. Originally, I was taking three, then down to two, which was 40 milligrams, and now 20 will do it. So um, I'm I'm hoping that uh, you know I'm on my way toward maybe at the year mark, even more than that, uh, maybe a year and a half. Who knows? Maybe I won't even need it. But things are progressing along really nicely. It's very slow because I still do need it. Um, I would not have an erection uh, uh, that's that's good enough to have sexual intercourse right now without some um, Viagra. So that's where I'm at. But it is getting noticeably better. No, no question about it. No question about it. Um, you know, that's that's pretty much uh, the update. The one thing I will say, and again, to be just completely honest, I, I had to go through sort of a grieving process with regard to sexual function, you know, things are different. Things are different. Um, even the, the shape of my penis, um, in terms of uh, being a little crooked, has an indent in it. it, things have happened. And I don't know if it happens to everybody, but it's different. Um, an orgasm is different, but it's still really good. Um, the fact that you have to use a pill in the first place, very different. And I think there was a time somewhere over the last couple of months where I kind of got a little down over that. And there was like this little grieving process of, you know, it's never going to be that way again. And I got right over that. And you may hit that point too, where you're like, wow, it's just never going to be the way it was but it's still great. And that's the, the point I want to get to. That I, I kind of grieved. I think it was important for me to actually go through that process and then move on and say, hey, it's great the way it is. So like, for example, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, my wife and I went out uh, to my kids' houses and um, you know, she, I don't know, it was about a half hour or so before we were going home and she came up to me and she kind of gave me a wink and she held out her hand and I, I just went to hold her hand and she had my Viagra in her hand and she had brought that along. She said, 
said, here, take this. And you know, we kind of, so we kind of have fun with that now. Um, it, it's part of the process. It's not something to say, ah, oh, darn, I need to do this. It's part of the process. And for me, it only takes, when I take one of those pills, 20 minutes later, we're good to go. Um, but anyway, you know, it was a grieving process. So, you know, at the nine month point, I, I went through that somewhere at seven or eight months. And it's past, it's gone. Um, this is life, it's good. Um, nine months, I have no uh, detectable PSA. We'll see what happens at the one year mark. I think things are going great. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with my results so far. So I hope, and I really do. When I tell you I put you on my prayer list, I do. Everyone that writes to me, I have a, a list that I keep and I pray daily. So I hope you're all doing well out there. And I hope some of this information helps, at least that you know what might be coming down the road. You know, uh, uh, don't be afraid of, of the feelings you may get with regard to the sexual function being different. Um, just embrace it, move on, and you know, it's, it's good. Life is good. Um, so uh, all the best to all of you out there. God bless. I'll probably jump on again at the, the one year mark. Uh, let you know anything changes or how I feel about um, my progress. Bye.